Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. So guys, today Monday has been very busy in the transfer market. We hear the likes of Neymar going to Saudi Arabia. Moises Caicedo would be announced as a Chelsea player either today or tomorrow. Chelsea and Liverpool in a bid war part two for Romeo Lavia. West Ham interested in Mohamed Kudus. This and many more in today's transfer window is very crazy. If you don't take time, you might not get the information right, but you are lucky on Sports Corner GH, we make sure to get you all the accurate sources and information so that you understand what is going on in the transfer market. Also, in today's video, you are going to look at performances of Alexander Jiku and other Ghanaian and Black Star players live here on Sports Corner GH. So if you have not subscribed yet or you have not even turned on notification, please subscribe and turn on notification to Sports Corner GH. And also, the giveaway is still ongoing. Make sure to participate, comment under this video and other videos and stand a chance of winning a free of your choice so guys quickly let me jump into it and talk about Mohamed Kudus honestly I know most of you are tired about the Mohamed Kudus transfer but I believe it would come to an end very soon reason being that West Ham are doing very good business in the transfer window. In fact, not only West Ham, Brighton and Hover Albion and Southampton are really doing very good business in the transfer market. West Ham already sold Declan Rice to Arsenal over 100 million euros. Now, Manchester City are interested in Lucas Paqueta, the Brazilian attacking midfielder. And they are even looking to pay around the region of 90, 9500 million euros for Lucas Paqueta. Now, West Ham has sat down and studied the transfer market. And they wanted a like-for-like -like change for Lucas Paqueta. And when they looked through the market, they saw that Mohamed Kudus' profile fits perfectly that of Lucas Paqueta because Mohamed Kudus is also an attacking midfielder who can also play several roles in, in your team. And then West Ham are looking at the idea of replacing Paqueta with Mohamed Kudus. Let's not also not forget, Mohamed Kudus' price tag would be within the region of 40, 45, 50 million euros because IR6 that they are now in charge of Mohamed Kudus' transfer. West Ham are looking or praying that the deal for Lucas Paqueta happens as quickly as possible so that they can also go and sign Mohamed Kudus. Let's not forget, writing a whole album, Ryan right have cash. They have a lot of money and I believe they're also going to go in for Mohamed Kudus. So it's going to be a very long day in that Mohamed Kudus transfer saga because West Ham, Brighton and Hove Albion, both teams are interested in signing Mohamed Kudus. Both teams have money currently and both teams just need to speak to the player because it's, it's not only about agreeing with the team Ajax. You can agree with the team, but if we have learned anything from the Chelsea and Liverpool bid war for Moises Caicedo, the player has a lot of authority as to which team he wants to play next season or this season. So guys, Mohamed Kudus has every decision to make as to which team he wants to play, either West Ham, Brighton and Hove Albion, or Chelsea, whenever they come calling. So guys, this is the latest concerning Mohamed Kudus transfer. We'll make sure to follow up on how strong their interest is from West Ham and bring you every update. Not only that, because of the performance Mohamed Kudus gave over the weekend for Ajax scoring a goal and also, you know, winning a penalty for them, he was included in the team of the week in the era DVC. Yes, Mohamed Kudus has been included in the team of the week in era DVC with a uh, sofa score rating of 8.1. Yes, sofa score rating of 8.1, which I think is very brilliant for Mohamed Kudus. He's still performing as a professional focus on Ajax until he moves come. So guys, that is the latest concern. Mohamed Kudus. Moving away from Mohamed Kudus, let's talk about another Ghanaian player who performed very well for his club side. I'm talking about Alexander Jiku. Now, Alexander Jiku plays for Fonabachi. He had an injury scare. A lot of Ghanaians were, you know, scared because they thought Alexander Jiku was going to uh, go out for a long time. But what we heard was it was a slight pain. Now he's back playing for Fanabachi. Fanabachi played their game against Gazianatep. Gazianatep. Now, in that game, Alexander Jiku had long balls, successful five out of five, total touch of 67, a total still of two. 
Ground draws one was two out of four. Area draws one was four out of four. And also blocking was two. He had a perfect game for Fonabachi as the one in that game. So guys, that is the performance for Alexander Jiku in the game for Fonabachi. Now moving away from that, let's talk about another Ghanaian player who is doing marvelously well for his new club. And I'm talking about Ibrahim Suleimana. Now Ibrahim Suleimana used to play for the uh, Italian side Hellas Verona and then switch from there to Calagri. Now, in the Copa Italia yesterday, they played against Paloma. Paloma, they won the game by two goals to one. He played the full 120 minutes for Calagari, and that was his debut match. And I'm very happy for this player. He's doing so well. Don't be surprised if you see him in a call-up to either the Black Stars or the Junior National Team of Ghana. So, guys, that's the latest concerning Ghanaian players who performed over the weekend and that of the transfer of Mohamed Kudus. Now, let's talk about some European transfer, and I'm going to begin with Neymar, yes, Charlie. Neymar to Saudi Arabia is no more a joke. It's a very serious thing. It, it has been announced by Fabrizio Romano, and Neymar is going to take some huge fees at you know the Saudi Arabian side Al Hilal. Now Al Hilal, they were the ones who played the quite ended Arab Cup where Al Nassar won. They have a lot of big name players there, but adding Neymar to that squad, the Saudi Pro League is going to be one to watch this coming season. And also, let's not forget, he's signing two years. That two years, he's yet to make his medicals. So if medicals will happen today, probably he'll be announced either tomorrow or some few days from now. Also, he's going to take close to the region of 100 million euros every year that is 200 million that's a lot of money and i mean people are saying that oh he's too young to go to i mean come on trophies don't pay bills i'm going to say this trophies don't pay bills as gallo will say the players don't play for passion they play for money so it's very necessary he goes in for the money and then guys we are also hearing that there's a possibility Barcelona would, you know, secure him on loan from Ahila. Let's see what would happen in that one. So, guys, that is the latest concerning Neymar to Saudi Arabian side Ahila. Moving away from that, Liverpool and Chelsea are in another bid war, part two, for Romeo Lavia. Now, Romeo Lavia was in London yesterday with his friends celebrating whatever they were celebrating. We don't know yet. But what we hear is that Liverpool has tended in £60 million pounds for Romeo Lavia. And Chelsea are also looking to outbid that one too because Chelsea feel like they also need that player to join their squad. So Chelsea are planning within the region of £65 million for Romeo Lavia to Southampton. And I believe Southampton are happy with what is going on because at the end of the day, they end up getting more money. The player goes to the highest bidder. But everything lies in the hands of the player. From per reports, the player wants to play for Chelsea, but Liverpool are not ruling themselves out because honestly, if you watch Chelsea versus Liverpool yesterday, both teams need a DM. Honestly, both teams need a DM. So guys, that is the latest concerning Romeo Lavia. We'll make sure to follow up on this and let you know. Plus, plus, Moises Caicedo just followed Romeo Lavia on IG. So people are speculating that he might be going to Chelsea or Romeo Lavia and, and, and Moises Caicedo might end up at Chelsea. Lastly, Moises Caicedo, um, his medicals are ongoing. I think by close of day, medicals will be would end. He would sign his document with Chelsea. And I also believe that almost everything would be done today and he will be announced as a Chelsea player either by the close of today or earliest tomorrow. Uh, Moises Caicedo would be named as a new Chelsea player. And I just can't wait to see uh, Romeo Lavia Moises Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez in the midfield of Chelsea is going to be dangerous for a lot of clubs. But then if you still have um, Moises Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez, it's still not bad. It's still a very good uh, midfield for Chelsea. So guys, that is the latest concerning transfers of Ghanaians and also European um, players and also performances of Alexander Jiku and Ibrahim Suleiman. Let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notification. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Charlie. Big vibe.